The, the banking system is just, they're, they're making it so much harder. And I really do wish there was more competition. I really think the people need to start setting up and saying enough is a bloody enough. Look, there's a lot coming up. Um, I want to have a look, first of all, about the ANZ ditching cash in some of their branches. There seems mm-hmm. to be a big move by the banks at the moment to move towards a cashless society. It's causing all sorts of disruption, particularly for not-for-profits, who, of course, get donations and fives and twos and all sorts of stuff. Some of these organizations have also said, we're just not going to deal with uh, denominations less than five, $5 or less, um, which yeah. wipes out a huge part of the market. Um, and it's, I, I'm really getting, I, I'm going to just say what it is. It, I'm getting annoyed that banks are pushing customers away. Um, mm. they're, they're not making it user friendly for them to actually uh, do business with them. And that's a huge concern because I think people are forgetting that the customer is there to be served as opposed to this customer serving the business. Um, it's scrapping the deposit withdrawal, smaller cash denominations and some branches A and Z. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not accepting the coins and five dollar notes. Uh, they can't be withdrawn over the counter. In addition, yeah. they're claiming that ANZ has implemented a limit on the number of notes each customer can deposit per day in some branches. So how often they can really? pop in? The banks obviously um, sell themselves on the ability mm-hmm. to uh, be a custodian of your wealth. We are strength. Mm-hmm. We are security. Come do business with us. And it's just got to the point where people are just going. This is getting far too hard to actually do business with them. It's worked a treat for me because I've been watching ANZ's treatment of their customers. And I was one of them. Uh, and I simply have just ceased trading with them. I, they're not going to see any more of my money. Um, I'm not dealing with a company that won't deal with cash. I'm not dealing with and, – and here's the sad reality. I'm with another bank as well. But, you know, they, when are they going to follow suit? The ANZ seems to be the one who are leading the way with this, uh, you know, this hatred of cash, this hatred of, of freedom. Um, but yeah, I think again, we, we need to vote with our wallets and in my case, ANZ, I, I'm disgusted with the way you've, you've treated your customers. You forgot that the business is actually about customers, not just shareholders. Uh, without that money, you can't make any money. So yeah, that, that'd be my advice. Get the hell away from them. Shaq, I'd be very interested in your thoughts about, you know, what the ANZ and the movements have made. What do you think? <laughs> well, uh, to be fair, they, they're suggesting that people access cash through the ATMs, not through the branch. So my suggestion is, ANZ, close all your branches, lay off all your staff, and yep. then we actually get to see who you really are, and we can choose a different bank. Yep, um, a friend of mine, oh, uh, recently gave me a bank account details, and I said, oh, what bank's that? And it was a credit union. Um, and yeah. for the moment, credit unions and, and uh, you know, those sorts of smaller banking and banking-like mm-hmm. institutions seem to provide better customer service. They seem to, you know, to, to give you all of the things that you get from the mainstream banks. Why not, you know, why not use them if you can? I, I think that that's what we need to do. We need to start taking mm-hmm. our business away from the big guys. Thoroughly agree. And I think that um, when you're talking about uh, the ATM side, okay, you know, they're saying get the cash from the ATMs. So, well, hang on, where can I find an ATM? Because do you know where they are? Because I can't find them. No, but that's my point, right? So you mm, go down mm. to you go down to your local branch only for them yep. to tell you to use the branded ATM. Yeah. Well, you know. that doesn't have branded ATMs anymore. Like, I think there's three branded. locations in Perth at the moment. Is the rest of them, they outsource it and to they're, another company. And there's and no way in hell I'm going... No, even a lot of the branches now don't have ATM branches, oh. uh, ANZ branch branded atms so there's no way in hell i'm putting my cash into someone else's atm hoping that it will end up in an anz uh, atm like no you can get stuffed on that one so um a comment from damien here where is the government's on the banks so i hate to say one of the industries where i think the government does actually need to be involved i think the banking industry is one of those industries well, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's our money and it needs some sort of form of regulation. And I well, mean, I'm anti-regulation, but as little as possible. But enough no, to well, hang, on a, hang on a sec, because that means then that if I say, you know what, I can do this better, let's get everybody from Edge Radio, all of our mm-hmm. audience to come in. All right, guys, we're going to set up our own bank. It's going to be a lot harder for us to do that because of government regulation. Yeah, true, true. 
can't argue with that. Um, well, let's do that, okay? We need Nedge Bank. <laughs> let's get started. I'll put my $2.50 in and away we go. I want um, to call it the Bank of Shack. It's got a ring to it. <laughs> oh, dear. If we're, if we're ever robbed, it'll be a Shack call, attack? Or? I was going to call it Shackies, but there's already a company called Shackies. There? There, yeah. you go. there you go. Getting to Damien's right. question, getting to Damien's question mm-hmm. the, bank, the governments are pushing the banks to do this stuff to their customers. That's the reality of what's going on. The whole know your client rules that are happening. Um, I've experienced it firsthand. Um, and you think to yourself, well, they're making great bedfellows, you know. Let's okay. face it, that's what's going on. I'm sure that, that ANZ will have some ridiculous comment. And I've, I've been reading this book. It's an old book. It's called Double Speak From Revenue Enhancement to Terminal Living How Government, Business, Advertisers, and Others Use Language to Deceive You. And I just want to put, put in the mindset of people, our, our, our audience, what the mentality is of the people that create all the rules, right? The, the politicians, the business leaders. Um, and I'm sure ANZ will come up with some twisted, weird way of wording it that somehow they're doing you a favour by not having having uh, cash. But uh, this is from the Harvard Business Review, and this is uh, this is over 50, 50 years ago, um, or 40 years ago. It says here, if competitive advantage can be achieved from just-in-time participatory management styles, then bottom-line-oriented organisations can better facilitate their gain-sharing systems to network for the new global technologies. At this company, for example, detective, detected casualties fluctuate between generic niche discontinuities and complementary enculturative yield functions. Does anybody have any clue what that means? This the is the sphincter says, says what? The sphincter says what? I, 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 honestly. That's ridiculous. Sort of Speak English. They use to, to try to make everybody else feel like oh, I don't really understand what's happening and the bankers know what's going on and, like, something's... No, bullshit, right? Whatever corporate spin they use, whatever language they use to justify this, the bottom line is that you can't access cash from branches. Um, and ANZ's the leader at the moment. There's going to be others to follow, no doubt. You can't access uh, cash from branches. And as much as I love my frequent flyer points, I would actually start suggesting that people do start using cash except for the fact that those mm-hmm. frequent flyer points, if you're paying cash, you're actually subsidising those people who are using their credit cards. So for the people who, who don't really get into uh, politics, to stop certain bills from being passed, people will actually stand up in front of everyone and just dribble shit for hours on end because you've only got a certain amount of time to actually ask questions and to form a debate. And what Shaq has just so eloquently read is exactly that. They've just tried to make it so complicated that no one actually understands what's going on. That's it. You but feel excluded if you don't understand the language, right? The one, one comment I do want to jump back to, and it's oh, from that's the business review, so that's not just bankers. That's the business yeah. community. These are the people that are in charge of your big mining companies, in charge of your big grocery stores, your telecommunications companies, your media companies, etc. This is how they think. This is how they, you know, look, look at what they do in hospitals. Now you, they, they used to say, you're dead. Then it was the person's expired. Yeah. Now the person <laughs> is no longer viable. No longer viable. No longer viable. Oh, oh wow. they would have said that about me years ago. <laughs> 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 Hang on, oh, I, yeah. I just want to jump back to a comment from Damien, which I, mm-hmm. I think is a very, very valid point, especially with the amount of people that do it through the Apple Watches, their phones, and all that. The tap and go. How long do you think it will be until they actually start charging to use the tap and go facilities? Well, they already do, yeah, right? They do. It's the merchant that's paying for it, not the customer, the merchant. So every time a customer uses a credit card, um, that is a fee to the to merchant using it. So what they do is they simply just pass that on to the customer. They charge what they would have charged for that item, plus they know they're going to have to give a certain percent away uh, in yep. just to do business. And don't forget, it's not just credit cards as well. It's also all your Visa debit cards. Anything that mm. uses the Visa system yeah. or the MasterCard system has a charge in there. So it's. they've got yeah, to make even, an FPOS, even if you use FPOS, whilst it's not a percentage-based charge, there's still a charge mm. for, for yep. using FPOS. So you're right, cash is king, except for, as I said, if you're using cash at a place like Woolworths, for example, I'm not picking on them, but just they're the bigger, biggest grocery store uh, in sure. Australia, they don't pass on the credit card surcharge. So you're getting frequent flyer points. The person paying cash isn't getting any discount. So therefore, the person paying cash actually is 
actually subsidizing your frequent flyer points. Yep. The other one as well, because they're still putting the charge for the FPOS facilities mm -hmm. into the cost of the groceries. So if you pay for cash out Woolworths, don't know why you'd be shopping there in the first place, but you're still paying FPOS surcharges on all the food that you're buying. Uh, look, I've Even seen this with recently. Cash, with cash. When, yeah, you're paying cash and you still pay a surcharge. So that's How why that when look? you go buy your groceries, mm -hmm. you should be going to the local farmers markets and things like that. So if you really, really want to fight really the system. Back, can we just come back, Aaron? Did you just say you had to pay a surcharge to pay cash? Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is ridiculous. There, well, there is you still have to, a you surcharge. Have to name and this, please. Where was this place? Okay, I got this through. No, no, not physically. It wasn't me. I actually got it today. Um, from uh, Brenton uh, Johansson, Johansson, okay? Yep. So that's here, the councillor for the Shire of Karatha. I, I think believe you're correct, right. yes. So, I look, yeah, I, I saw a message from him saying he was charged, I think, something like 43 cents um, FPOS charge when he paid in cash. It was. It's literally written on oh, the I receipt. I remember the receipt. Yes, yes. They, they said check your receipt because they rounded up. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or something. Yeah. He said, no, oh, no, no, it's not that. They've done two things. They've yeah. rounded up. Yep. And given a surcharge. So, well, as you know, they put the surcharge on first, then they round up. Yeah. It's, it is fraud. It's fraud. Yep. No, no, I've, I've seen that post as well. So, it, it's one of those things I don't like more regional centers where you can't, they don't have growers market, makes it a little bit hard. And you don't have like Uber mm. Eats, they can deliver your food from the smudge or whatever. But sure. even when, when you're using Uber Eats, you're still paying that surcharge for the food. Yeah, even if you, 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 you don't have the option to pay cash. I still think cash is king, especially in small companies, like small businesses, mm -hmm. like the local coffee shop, Yep, because they're not paying those surcharges and all the fees, especially if you go to a place where you got to use your car, they say, oh, there's a 50 cent surcharge if you're using it, like the corner deli store. Sure. By all means, please use cash because yeah. it does help out the local businesses. The, the other side of that coin, uh, Travis and Aaron, I, I used to own a small bar in, uh, doesn't matter small. where, in Australia. Come on. Um, and we used to get shit loads of 20s, 10s, and 5s. Right. So you go down the bank. I mean, I don't even know what would happen there. You go down to the bank with bags full of 20s, 10s, and 5s, and I used to be always bloody drunk as anything. 10 o'clock in the morning, I'd still be hung over, and I was going to walk in with 10 grand worth of 20s, 10s, and 5s. Mm -hmm. What's the bank manager looking at me like? You know, that looks like I'm selling sticks or something, right? So <laughs> the bank manager's like, oh, okay, what's all this cash? And one of the things was I had to go to the bank every day because mm -hmm. my notes were always covered in like Baileys and just stuff that was always stuck together and, you know, that stuff. So I was always going to the bank so I could get fresh notes so I could have a fresh till because otherwise my coins and notes would always stuck together. But what happens to that little cafe or that small business when they go down to the bank and they go to deposit, you know, the $6,000 worth of takings for the day? They mm -hmm. might have only made $1,000 in profit for the day. But, you know, they've, they've got 5,000 expenses and they've got cash and they've got to go deposit it. And then the bank says, oh, well, you know, you need to fill out extra paperwork and this and that. That's that's the thing. It's not just about us paying cash. It's also about mm -hmm. the the flow and effects. The, the, the banking system is just they're, they're making it so much harder. And I really do wish there was more competition. I really think the people need to start setting up and saying enough is a bloody enough. Mm -hmm.